That is. Ashwin, it's the 31st of August. We are going to be driving the Mahindra E2 all the way to Lavasa. Yes. Let's check how far this baby can go. And how much charge we, we have remaining. We are on full charge and uh, we kilometers. have yeah, 100 kilometers. Okay. And we are ready to roll. Okay. So let's hope everything goes fine. <laughs> uh, and we don't, we can come back in one piece. Yeah, okay, dude. One piece. Yeah. Where are we? Right now we are somewhere <laughs> on the surface of the earth. <laughs> With Eva. With Eva. Yeah, Eva is right there. And Behind me is the Mula River. Mula River, yeah, that it takes. Goes all the way into Pune. Yes. If they ever come up with a water navigation system, they can have some sort of a overcraft or something like that. Start from here all the way to Pune. Very ambitious project, but it can be done. Yeah, it can be done. Okay. So that's it. We've re I think we have covered 10 kilometers. 8 kilometers. 10 kilometers. Yeah. And Eva is still going great. Yep. We just covered some really, really bad road. <laughs> Uh, I uh, I generally compare the surface of Pune to the surface of the moon. <laughs> so you see so many craters uh, and moon and it's like having a moon ride. Uh, so I'm moonwalking basically. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, we have now arrived at our checkpoint number two. We are uh, Some at uh, Pirangut. 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 Yes. <laughs> and uh, we have covered about uh, 20, uh, 16, 17 kilometers right now. Look here, look here. Ever wondered why Switzerland looks green? <laughs> it's because they have got cars that don't pollute. This is your car that will make Pune into Switzerland. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. We are in, on the road to Lavasa. We are right now on the Pirangut Ghats. Yes. And uh, you see that, that that view which you see over there yes. will appear many times in the pictures we have posted in the past, in the cycle rides that we have posted in the past. Oh, yeah. And this is that road on which, uh, you know, this is the road which has been a silent observer <laughs> to all our adventurous trips. <laughs> now, one of the most beautiful features of the EVA is its capability to regenerate. We call it regeneration. So when a car goes downhill or brakes or just rolls of its own accord, it's regenerating. It's yeah. basically recharging. So even though we have driven more than 30 kilometers, I still see about 3-4 kilometers more on the battery because of its regenerative capability. Yes. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. Hyderabad guy, enjoying it? Absolutely. <laughs> Look at the beautiful view there. <laughs> We are in 
the bap of yosemite hey <laughs> watch this i know tell me about it dekhna look how beautiful it is look at that this is the place where we can shoot movies like rambo <laughs> you know tell me about it <laughs> you know a helicopter chow you know going all the way like that meandering through and you can make mountains. yeah you can conceptualize games like crisis yes crisis yes and yes. have a speedboat running there and a babe behind you on a speedboat <laughs> dude what if we make a game like that <laughs> <laughs> going towards lavasa that's out there right there so awesome right there. and that's the eto there with around 40 km of charge left so we definitely need to find a charging point right yeah <laughs> hopefully we'll find one Okay, uh, we've reached Lavasa and the charge remaining is forty-seven kilometers. Good. Yeah. Forty-seven kilometers to go. This is awesome. Can we make it back to Pune? By the way, we have been warned by some uh, visitors that this is what they said. Yes. We have driven this from Pune, is it? Yes. So this can only do hundred kilometers. How are you going to go back? <laughs> well, we will go back. <laughs> yeah, let's Because see. Because what they forgot is yes. that this car regenerates as well. Yes, regen. Like a petrol car. Yes, it just that it burns oh. petrol and forgets it. <laughs> this has some memory and regeneration and right. stuff like that. So okay, let's enjoy Lavasa now. Okay, we are in Lavasa. We have 48 kilometers range left, and hopefully we can make it to Pune. Can we? Let's try. <laughs> Next. How much time laga? <laughs> All India CC songs. there's eva so what's the range like 29 kilometers more man can you push this guy up okay. 27 not even 29 okay so here we are with 25 kilometers means we have and we have a distance of 40 kilometers to cover yeah uh, i don't think we can reach pune but we can still reach pune how by the magic of regenerative Regen. regenerative braking so so yeah so what do you think Can we do it? Let's give it a shot. Okay. 
I'm confident that we'll reach because de- definitely sure we're going to gain 20 kilometers in this coming downhill. So let's try. Okay? Let's give it a shot. Okay, 20. We have reached the bottom of the hill and uh, I've got 10 kilometers worth of regenerative power back. Okay. Now we are back after a long trip uh, to Lavasa. Uh, we didn't find any charging points out there yet. We came back with so we just got back with eight kilometers left. Beautiful car indeed. This is the only car which at the top of Lavasa yes. has a reading of 40 kilometers and at the bottom of the guard says 50. <laughs> <laughs> so I think one of the things that actually should happen is that all taxis and autos should become battery operated. The government should give special stops for that. Yes. Thereby making public transport green. Yes. Cheap. Yes. And regenerative. Yes, exactly. They'll actually charge you less if they go into the guards. Can you believe it? <laughs> Fun.